Goblin L'Ecole de l'Image is a visual communication school in that we offer learning programs in all aspects of image making. But I'm going to speak about the animation department, which was founded more than 30 years ago, in fact in 1974. Now to explain the context of the beginnings of this department, I have to explain that Goblin is a school which is run and operated by the Paris Chamber of Commerce and Industry. I think the success of the Goblin program, and I would like to go into it, that into greater detail in a moment, is its focus on the fundamentals of animation, timing, rhythm, performance, uh, weight, gravity, inertia, and we really cover these bases in a very thorough manner so as to prepare our students to adapt to all sorts of projects or styles, but at the same time mastering the fundamentals of movement. With time, the program did evolve. And this goes back to 1985. Pierre Emma, who had become someone quite well known in the animation um, area in France, and he was on advisory boards of all sorts, um, was also on the advisory board for the famous International Animated Film Festival at Annecy. And um, the director of the festival asked Pierre if the Goblin students couldn't produce these very short animation films as curtain raisers for the festival. And that was the beginning of a new era for Goblin. But over the years, the students wanted to develop a narrative. And so to make films, even though they were quite short, 30 seconds, 40 seconds, they had to learn all the steps of animation filmmaking. To get into a program, you have to really show you have a high level of drawing skill. Our philosophy here is that you come to Goblin to learn movement. So we have put into place what I think is the toughest entrance exam of any animation school in the world to really um, help us make the selection of students that we believe have a potential not only to learn animation, but to leave our program, which is now three years, with a professional level of animation skills. So this entrance exam is we give them a model sheet of a cartoon style character and a model sheet of a realistic type of character. We will give them a background drawing. We will then ask for a certain action which they must draw with these two characters respecting shape, volume, but also perspective and giving an idea of movement. They have three hours for this exercise. Now, we attract between, over the years, 500 and 1,000 applicants. We might keep two or 300 out of the people who have tested that so far. Then we will go and correct the second big exercise, which is a storyboard exercise, a short synopsis, and then they have three hours to do a storyboard of maybe 16 panels. The idea is not so much to evaluate their classical drawing skills of shape and volume and perspective, but their staging, their sense of uh, the French call mise en scène, of directing, close up here, uh, 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 a mid shot here. Can they tell the story through images? We will then examine their portfolios, their, their books. We are looking for people who will show, again, a multiplicity of drawing styles, um, techniques. They can include sculpture, photos, and drawing, pastels, paintings. We encourage that. We don't want people who are so obsessed with animation, you just see manga style in their whole portfolio. We want people who are open-minded and willing to take risks and show that they're extremely creative. In my view, if a student doesn't have the feeling that he's progressing, literally, week after week, we're not doing our job correctly. And that would be a real shame. So for us, it's very important that every exercise 
is a building block. You're going to find, for example, in the first year program, uh, the same sort of classical animation exercises you find in animation programs the world over, whether it's bouncing balls, uh, picking up a weight, uh, walking a, a, a regular human walk cycle, uh, or uh, an emotive walk cycle with a very, we call it a character walk cycle, where you, someone is limping or he's drunk or something, showing some special performance style when they're walking, an animal running exercise, uh, an acting exercise with a dialogue or a monologue. Uh, all these classical exercises exist, but taught by professional people. Now, once they get into the second year with more sophisticated acting exercises or more complex storyboard exercises, they will also begin production of films. For example, the Annecy films, which I mentioned, the curtain raisers, which are now made by the second year class. Then in the third year, they will continue their apprenticeship of 3D animation, which they begin in the second year. And then they also direct longer graduation films. So even the films they make are pretty much like exercises. Deadlines, um, technical constraints, artistic constraints, um, and all this focus on exercises and projects is also the key to our success. Making films at Goblin um, has always been mostly team efforts. It is that constituted group which will then go into sessions of brainstorming to come up with one or two projects, make the pitch to the teaching staff and the rest of the class, and then they get the green light or not for that project, and everyone's motivated because everyone brought their ideas to the table, and then they all start pitching in to the graphic design, the storyboard, and the layout. The films are short. What is the point of school films? Well, I mean, what is the, the real goal? There are several, of course. It is um, a way for a student to um, summarize all that he has learned and make the artistic expression um, that he wants with the skill set he has acquired in the program. And if you are approaching studios, whether it is small studios uh, or big studios, whether it is um, uh, for short films, TV series, uh, all these people in these studios have a very busy schedule. They're looking for talent all the time but they don't want to spend 15 minutes watching a student film, which will be a lot of slow shots sometimes with lots of um, colors and lighting and music maybe. But if they're looking for an animator, for example, they're going to focus on the animation sequences and they're going to see right away whether the person can animate or not. If they're looking for a character designer, they're going to see right away the richness of the design and they can see that in 30 seconds and in one minute. Get to the point in the film to show what you're trying to show as an artistic expression, yes, but also as a skill set if the film serves to help you get a job. And that can be done perfectly well in a two-minute film. And the studios are very happy about that. And believe me, they are very appreciative of the fact that the Goblin films are so short.